Hi and welcome to Vintage Doll Collector. I'm fortunate to live in a part of the world where there are lots of antique shops and the York Antiques Gallery on Route 1 in York, Maine is one of the best. This old barn has been converted into four floors of wonderful antiques with an emphasis on primitive and Americana. We took a drive there recently to see what they had for dolls. Here's a little all bisque doll in her uniform. She might have been the housekeeper in a dollhouse. These two small dolls are meant to represent Native Americans. The one on the right is a German all bisque. The one on the left might be also, but I'm not sure as I haven't seen him before. If you know, please leave a comment. This china figure has a hole in the top of her head. She seems too small to be a candle holder, so maybe she was meant to hold hat pins or something similar. Here's a big frozen Charlie with wonderful painted face and hair. I think it's hilarious that somebody gave him pants and suspenders. In the same glass case with Charlie are some very nice vintage stife animals. This china lady sitting in a chair would be very nice in an antique dollhouse. I like the wooden dresser next to her too. A beautiful bisque wedding cake topper. The bride's dress looks like a 1930s style to me. Check out this very unusual doll with a carved wooden shoulder head. Here's a better look at her face. I love these Putz sheep from Germany with composition heads and wooden legs. Sorry about this picture. This is a lot of folk art dolls with heads made from nuts. Here's a better look at two of them. The tag says this doll is made from a corn cob, but she has a cloth face and arms. I brightened this photo a little so you could see the color on this knitted doll. Look at this wonderful little tin farm with all the metal animals. There's a lot of old toys here. This clockwork young traveler is probably from the 60s. He walks along with his suitcase. Here's a nice antique Art Fabric Mills cloth doll. I love, love, love this cloth doll on the right. Not in my price range, unfortunately, but I bought a Powerball ticket on the way home just in case. The one on the left is very cool, too. These old metalhead dolls are often found in rough shape. I can't see her eyes. Looks like they might be pushed back in her head. This well-loved teddy bear is a sweetheart. Here's a kachina made by the Hopi Indians, who mostly live in Arizona. This French puppet has a composition or paper mache head and hands. A couple of sailor dolls. Sorry about the reflection. The one on the right looks like Nora Wellings. These were sold as souvenirs on the ocean liners back when people used to travel by ship. These Native American dolls were made by members of the Seminole tribe in Florida. They're made of palm fiber. A couple of cloth dolls and an antique cradle. Here's an early homemade Mickey and Minnie, probably made from one of the commercial sewing patterns that were licensed by Disney in the 30s and 40s. And here's another set, a little bit different. I love handmade dolls because every maker puts a little bit of their own personality into the creation. This is a sweet old child's tea set. A big compo doll head from the 20s or 30s. Don't you love his happy face? These pins were probably from some kind of bowling game. They look great with the colorful target behind them. This is a vintage German peg wooden doll. A pretty half doll mounted on a brush. These are pages from a very old children's book. Dame Trot and Her Comical Cat. 
On the page on the left, the cat is sewing. This is probably from the early 1800s. Some little all bisque figures. I had a hard time getting a picture of these dolls. They appear to be carved from wood, but the tag just says pair of dolls. Not sure if they're old or not, but I thought I'd keep the picture in just because they're unusual. These two German paper mache dolls are probably comic characters. The guy on the right looks like Foxy Grandpa. These carved wooden folk art dolls are definitely old. I would have liked to get a better look at them, but I don't like to ask to see something unless I'm actually thinking of buying it. Well, that's it for our trip to the York Antiques Gallery. There were some very nice dolls that I didn't get pictures of, including a Volland Raggedy Andy. If my Powerball number comes up, I'm going back for him too. Thanks for joining me today, and see you next time.